Okay, so I, first off, hi, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I'm so excited you're here. Um, today I have a crock pot, um, crock pot collab. I'm very sorry. Crocktober. I'm very excited to be participating in this collab. Um, it is hosted by Sammy from Managing the Maze and Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. Hopefully I got that right because I tend to, I guess I'll jumble. Even though I have it written down and I can see it, it still jumbles up on me. Anyways, okay, I've been struggling all day with this, figuring out what to do. I am just like shattered here slightly because I deleted a whole bunch of footage today that I thought was backed up already to my, uh, my Google and it was not and I wasn't completely done editing and I hadn't saved my edit and yeah. so I'm pretty bummed um, because it was a really yummy chicken meal um, I'm just gonna do this let's just put it so that I don't have to hold you and keep bouncing around and all that stuff so it was a super duper yummy um, chicken crock pot meal so I have gone back through my footage and found an older crock pot meal that I made and I'm going to share that with you guys, but I'm also going to share a little bit more because I had made a dessert and then I had kind of showed you while I was making the crock pot dessert, what I did with the leftovers from the first crock pot meal that I made. Um, and then I also managed to find a little snap shot of a very similar meal to the crock pot meal. Um, and I just inserted that in and I'm just gonna voice over and kind of tell you what I did with my meal this week um, and hopefully it all works out and comes together I guess we'll see at the end what happens because I haven't officially finished editing that yet um, but I did pull some footage and found some stuff and I've managed to mishmash some stuff together because um, I was really looking forward to participating um, and also I have the dessert the crock pot dessert at least so I mean I could have just gone with that but you know, that didn't seem like fun for me, so I figured I needed to find just a little bit more to add in there. So, I'm going to link both of the lovely ladies in my description box. I'm also going to link a group description box, group playlist in the description box. It's been a long day. It is Thanksgiving for us. Um, well, today was Thanksgiving, is Thanksgiving, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Sunday, Monday. I never know which day is actually Thanksgiving because they're it's a long weekend. It's been a long weekend. So please enjoy and thank you for stopping by. And I hope that you like, I hope you share, I hope you subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And if you're returning, thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Bye guys. I don't know if there's any way I can set this up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm whatever. Anywho, I'm just going to make a chicken broth. So I've got a whole chicken here and I've got some chicken bones left over that I, from like two nights ago that I just shoved in the fridge freezer. Sorry. I knew I was going to need them. So I just popped them in the freezer. So I'm just going to put them in here. They're frozen. So I'm just going to stick those bones in there and then I'm going to stick my whole chicken in there. And I'm just going to cook this on high for the next probably four or five hours. And over time, I will just add random. I'm going to go I see if I have any carrots to add. Really, I don't care too much. I'll just add some seasonings and save the vegetables for when I cook the actual soup. Um, so for now, like I said, I'm going to throw these two chickens in here with some seasonings and get them on high. All right. There we go. So I've got... So my whole chicken in there and then my chicken bones from the other night, uh, a couple of cloves of garlic, some onion powder, and there is a whole onion in there as well. And I'm just adding a whole bunch of salt, probably need more later too, but that's a good start. So I'm going to stick my lid on there, got garlic powder, got onion powder dust everywhere. Stick my lid on there, put those in the garbage, cook it on high for, as I said, probably the next, it's 1030. So yeah, probably the next five hours or so. Just let it cook down really good. Um, my slow cooker needs a good bath. This thing is well loved. 
All right, I just strained my broth the first time. So I just took it out of there, dumped it with my first um, strainer, and then I'm now going to take this and dump it through the teeny tiny strainer. There we go, it catches all those itty bitty bits. And now we can go ahead and add some vegetables and see, well, I'm gonna taste it and see how it needs anything. Uh, I'm gonna dice up some potatoes and probably some frozen vegetables. This chicken. All right, so I taste it. I added a bit of seasoning. Um, I added some Italian seasoning, some salt, some pepper. Sorry, the kids are down there playing. Some onion powder. Um, and then I diced up about five potatoes, threw them in, and about two cups of frozen mixed veggies. Um, so it's but almost four. I'm going to on. It's almost four. I'm going to put the lid back on um, and let it cook for another hour on high. And our potatoes should be good. And while that's happening, I'm going to cook my egg noodles in a separate pot and just add them separately um, into each bowl so that way they don't get soggy um, sitting in the soup. Here's my big old pot of chicken soup. Again, we just I just used frozen veggies, a couple diced uh, potatoes, a whole chicken, and I just cooked it in the slow cooker all day long. And here's my bowl. I just, um, runaway chicken. <laughs> It's so good. I just cooked up some egg noodles on the side and uh, served it over top of egg noodles. Uh, there are some noodles that we really do like. I forget the name. I'm so sorry for the noise. There are some egg noodles. Or no, sorry, not egg noodles. I don't have them any right now, but there's some little noodles. I think they're called the tally or something. I don't know how I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm butchering it. But they're these little teeny tiny round um, cylinder noodles. They remind me of like beefaroni noodles, but cut to be like this big. <laughs> Anyways, they are great in soup and they don't actually um, absorb a ton of liquid and swell up really huge. Um, but again, I couldn't find them in the grocery store. So egg noodles are a great choice, um, but I keep mine on the side just so they don't get soggy in the leftovers. Okay friends, so this is the recipe that I was talking about that looks slightly similar to the one I made in the slow cooker. Um, so in my slow cooker, I had put some diced onions and garlic. Um, I added a can of mushroom and a can of uh, cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup. And then I added some cream cheese and a little bit of sour cream and salt and pepper to taste. And then I let that cook with the chicken breast in it um, in the slow cooker for a couple of hours, probably. I think it was like four hours on high. And then I also had thrown um, a package of ranch dressing and a entire hot pepper into it. And then, yes, I just let that cook in the slow cooker. So that was the deleted footage that is missing. So I'm still pretty bummed about that. But um, I did find a substitute, kind of, I guess, because there was just no time um, to remake it. So it was a huge hit. It didn't taste like a ranch chicken like it wasn't super ranchy but it had some really great flavor because ranch chicken has some great flavors to it um i'm very sorry for the noise in the background um my toddler does not understand the term of quiet mommy's recording <laughs> but toddler does so that's okay they're in the kitchen with me today as i said today is thanksgiving for us so we are busy cooking while i'm doing my voiceover um and trying to get this video out for you guys today so when my chicken was done in the slow cooker, I just um, shredded the chicken up and we served it over egg noodles. It was perfect and the kids really liked it. All right, so here we are getting ready to do our slow cooker dessert and I was showing you what I was doing with the leftovers. Um, so that was our leftover chicken um, from the night before and I just added some extra water um, to thin it out a little bit and I think down the line I added some other stuff. I cooked up a pot of rice and it was a hit. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, so here in my bowl I am just making, um, I believe I used chocolate fudge. You could use a devil's food, um, devil's chocolate, whichever one you prefer. Um, just make up the cake mix with the way it says on the box with your milk or milk or water, eggs and oil, 
mix all that up, throw it in the slow cooker. Okay, and then you're gonna throw that into the a buttered slow or a buttered dish. Make sure you butter your slow cooker just so the cake doesn't stick. Um, get that all mixed up, throw that in, and then um, after the cake mixes in, we just made up in the same bowl. No Can need to wash. No, no need to wash dishes or whatever. Um, just in the same uh, bowl, we made up a chocolate pudding, and the kids helped. Um, so we just mix up. Here we go, chocolate pudding okay. in the next bowl. Um, and now? then we're going to dump that directly into uh, the chocolate uh, cake mix that's in the slow cooker. Uh, and if you saw there, I just threw some frozen mixed veggies into that uh, chicken mix from the night before and a little bit of water. And that's how we ate it over rice. It honestly, it tasted like chicken pot pie. It was so good. Uh, and again, I'm just so bummed I didn't get to show you the actual recipe, but live and learn. Uh, always make sure the videos are backed up to Google, not just the photos. Uh, and then yeah, I dumped some chocolate chips on top. Totally optional. Don't have to do it. Oh look, there's dinner. I just wanted to show you how yummy it was. I served it up with some buns on the side. Okay. Okay. Is it I don't know. I can't tell. I am going to turn it off because I don't want to overcook it. Oh, um, I can't wait to dig in. Everybody has been talking about the smell in the house. It smells fabulous. Oh, there we go. All right. And if you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me for Croctober. Um, you have the date. Actually, I think it's actually next week. So next week I will have, next Sunday, I will have another crock pot meal for you. Um, and you know what? I just might keep it going and have one every Sunday for the month of Crocktober. So, um, I will show you what this looks like. Uh, and I have some ice cream. I hope we had Neapolitan. We had a few, we don't have any vanilla, but I have ice cream and I have, um, oh, I have to hide the Cool Whip. <laughs> I have Cool Whip in the back of the fridge and I'm going to have to hide it because it is for another dessert um, that I will likely share for Fruity Friday. So um, but by the time you see this video, Fruity Friday will have already happened. Um, so make sure you check out that video if you didn't get to see it. And yeah, so I'm going to put the baby to bed and then make, make whipped cream because I have stuff to make whipped cream. You get off the table, miss. Hey. Hey. Get off the table. Daisy Duke. Um, should we be eating this right now? Probably not. It's bedtime, but. There's like a fudgy layer on the bottom. Puddingy. Can you see it? Mm, see the fudgy puddingy yumminess? Yeah. See that? Sorry for the screaming, children. Can you see my melting whipped cream? And then, like, the fudgy. Putting me.